वेलकम टू ट्वेल्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट कॉलेज ब्लेसिंग सुप्रीम फादर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट हैप्पीनेस एंड फॉर्चून एंड हाउ टू हेल्प अदर्स टू क्रिएट देयर ओन फॉर्चून सो ही सेज मे यू बी हैप्पी एंड फॉर्चुनेट एंड क्रिएट द फॉर्चून ऑफ अदर्स बाय बीइंग अवेयर ऑफ गॉड एंड योर फ्यूचर सो फ्रॉम अमृत वेला अमृत वेला इज अर्ली मॉर्निंग टाइम फ्रॉम फोर ओ क्लॉक ऑनवर्ड्स जनरली इट कैन बी इवन बिफोर दैट बट जनरली फ्रॉम फोर ओ क्लॉक ऑनवर्ड्स टू फोर फोर्टी फाइव फाइव ओ क्लॉक so from amrit vela until night time be aware of your different types of fortune and continue to sing this song so suppose somebody has got a lottery and they know that after a month they're going to get the money how will they feel so similarly over here god says after a few years once the kalyug ends satyug starts you're going to get the lottery of heaven on earth on earth not up there so he says that think about the fortune that you're going to get into heaven you are going to be full of all the virtues you will have peace power purity prosperity happiness joy you have the complete knowledge of the complete cycle of the world how the world came into creation and when it is coming into creation all the answers are there with you so you have all the fortune you have all the secrets in your in your hand so only those who remain aware of god and their fortune are able to create the fortune of others so whatever you remember the good news you remember you obviously tell the good news to your friends to your family people right so you you tell those things to them because you want to share the fortune with them so that they also become fortunate so god says to be a brahmin means to be constantly fortunate constantly to have the fortune of happiness no one has the courage to reduce the happiness of brahmin souls why because in this kali yuga even though the world is coming to a big change we know that there are going to be turmoils there are going to be upheavals in five elements in people surroundings and everybody right so god says no one has the courage to reduce the happiness of brahmins so why because they look beyond all those things they look in the future of what exactly god has promised them and they work towards that so small hiccups don't affect them each brahmin is happy and has the fortunate of happiness it is possible for happiness to leave it is impossible for happiness to leave brahmin life even if you leave your body your happiness cannot disappear imagine god is talking about the extreme scenario extreme case it's, it's a saying even if you leave your body your happiness cannot disappear so we are so detached from our bodily attractions bodily wants bodily desires that even if we leave this physical body happiness cannot disappear om shanti